थैंक यू प्रोफेसर यादव ऑनरेबल चेयर प्रोफेसर असलम परवेज साहब एंड एस टीम पैनलिस्ट विद मी टुडे एंड द ऑडियंस गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड लेट मी थैंक विज्ञान प्रोफेसर फर्स्ट फॉर काइंडली इनवाइटिंग मी टू दिस स्टीम पैनल फॉर दिस इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वी नो साइंस कम्युनिकेशन साइंस मीडिया इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट्स वाई वी आर डिस्कसिंग इट हेयर टूडे बट दी काइंड ऑफ सीनोरियो सीनारियो वी लुक एट यू नो अराउंड us uh, in india especially on the science communication science media it's not very encouraging uh it's not very encouraging because you know we we couldn't develop that kind of culture that kind of society uh, which could sort of you know take science communication right perspective and you know could sort of promote the science communication you know to the masses uh, i was sort of you know uh, uh, doing a google search few days before uh, searching for you know science communication courses uh, in india unfortunately on the very first page i couldn't find you know many science courses uh, in fact i got lot of courses in another part of the world basically in europe uh, like imperial college of london offers a full fledged msc degree in science communication uh, with a well defined course structure where you know a person learn uh, theory and practical aspect of the science communication so there are certain reasons for the actually why we 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 are not able to develop that culture why you know another part of the world sort of you know has a well defined structure for the science communication if you look at the you know mainstream media scenario you know we hardly get these stories uh, related to science communication when i say media media includes you know print and electronic media both so media is not only the responsible sort of domain uh, for for the you know abysmal status of science communication in india so we you know society as a whole we are also responsible you know the way we take the science communication we know science communication is very important for the rational thinking science communication is very important for the development of the society so what can be done to promote the science communication in india there is a strong school of thought you know we should have the full fledged you know maybe master degree or graduate degree of the science communication in india but can can that really work the the kind of pedagogical structure we have in india the the way we have promoted our education system you know largely if you look at the pedagogical structure in india see the courses are divided between two you know broad categories like you know professional courses and the non professional courses so luckily or unluckily the, the communication field comes into the professional courses i i i can share you know one very interesting story which happened to me basically when i was doing my mass communication course way back i think in 1999 2000 so when i was uh, sort of doing my masters in mass communication we were given you know four specialization choices in in final year of our examination so one was uh, film television writing and script uh, uh, direction and another one was uh, development communication then there was a course on science communication and then there was a course on urdu journalism also so unfortunately there was no taker of the science communication courses that despite several reminder by the course coordinator no student was willing to take science communication courses because you know there was sort sort of this this worry whether we'll get, get the job after doing science communication or not because not many stories were happening in the mainstream media about the science communication so nobody was willing to take that particular uh, specialization so only one student opted for the science communication those days most of the students they 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 chose to you know this film and television direction and script writing and few went to the development communication also so that that raises the serious question you know what exactly did the how we have sort of promoted our pedagogical structure so the job syndrome is still lies among the students and it is not their fault because it is like demand and supply if we don't have the demand of the science communication science communicators in mainstream media it is very difficult uh, for students to opt these these courses so what can be the alternate solution then we know science communication is important so we are living in digital age the age of artificial intelligence blockchain technology you you can do wonders with a, with a mobile so mobile technology is sort of you know it's like a new uh, defining the 21st century so anybody having a mobile is a potential communicator so i'm just wondering you know we have a huge lot of science students in india of different disciplines i extend the thought of dr aslam parvez sahab he said ish the communication should be introduced like a mo module in in early 
early classes maybe in school at school level or the college level we are talking about the higher studies here can we sort of propose if we could introduce introduce sort of a foundation course in communication for you know across the stream not only in the science in all the stream if we could do sort of introduction of the foundation course in communication technology communication aesthetics you know which which is which which should be compulsory for the all students and if they don't complete this communication course you know degree will not be awarded this was actually done in 90s so when in 90s the computer was introduced to the students it was made compulsory to all students so when i was doing my bsc so we were sort of we we got one notification that you know you are being sort of uh, you are being offered a foundation course in computer science in computer applications so this course is compulsory for all the students of the you know arts or science streams if you don't complete this course foundation course in 3 years of your graduate degree you will not be awarded uh, the, the science degree or any 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 other degree so why this was done because the importance of the computer was realized those days you you cannot imagine a world without computer similarly we need to sort of recognize the importance of communication communication is not a field you know for the communication specialist only communication is important each one of us what we do in our daily lives we communicate so we communicate at different level so those communication skills have to be given to the all these students not only to the science students but you know all across these streams student must learn you know how the, the kind of knowledge they are acquiring they can sort of give it give it back to the society in which form so one need to one need to sort of acquire those skill of the communications it might be the print media it might be television it might be cinema and you know the kind of online platforms we have free platforms and the kind of mobile technology we have this is now possible actually so if we sort of you know instead of thinking for a full fledged course of master degree or you know graduate degree of science communication if we think of you know the foundation course like the computer foundation course in science communication or maybe in communication to the all these students i think that is going to help a lot to the society and you uh, by in introducing this course you will be training the whole big lot of the science communicators because you have the, this ready made number of you know lot of science students you know across the stream and the kind of research and the kind of science work india is doing in comparison to the you know rest of the world that is laudable actually but that is not coming to the public actually because we have not developed that kind of lot which could communicate imagine a scenario i am an entomology student of zoology i know my subject in a best possible way if i learn the communication technology also along with my master degree in entomology which is based basically zoology discipline i can communicate any entomology subject better than a mass media student because i know the nitty gritty you know how does the insect life cycle work how does you know insect diseases work i know each and everything about you know those particular concepts so i am looking for a scenario when you know all the science students irrespective of the any stream whether it's technical technological sciences life sciences physical sciences these students they should be equipped with the you know communication aesthetics communication narrative and they should they should shoot their own stories that should be made compulsory like every student has to do a one science communication project when they pass out uh, in in graduation or the post graduation course so we will be able to develop a very very intelligent lot of the scientists and science, scientific knowledge cannot be limited to the you know scientists science teachers and science labs only this has huge repercussions on the society for example pesticide pesticide discovery has to be what kind of harmful effect pesticide have you know to to uh, on the on the society it has to be shared with the masses we know pesticide have a residual effect it affect right from your you know right from your cattle to your family generation to generations are affected with the pesticide so if we limit this knowledge with the lab and scientists or maybe some papers only so we will not benefit to the uh, we will not do any benefit to the you know citizens so that's where the science communication plays very important role especially the you know students of science if they are equipped with the science communication technology i am sure they are going to create wonder and what will be the benefit of you know introduction of these courses in in science communication courses in the science i am talking about the funda this foundation course only see uh, we are we basically normally we talk about the you know uh, 
different disciplines you know being offered in the english languages but if you train the the, the students of the telugu uh, language uh, region kannada region so they will produce their own content in different language msc student is studying in karnataka maybe in kannada language so he will have the native content in the kannada language so he will be able to proliferate that content in that particular language so that will be another you know added boon to this uh, this science communication in india every student can open their youtube channel they can open their facebook page so they cannot only reach to their the local public they can even you know cross the boundaries so communication can take the you know can be taken to the another scale by introducing to the social media so social media and you know and 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 this mobile technology is the you know tool and technique for the dissemination of the science communication if we train the young science students with the communication technology also so i'm sure you know we are going to take few more questions while we sort of move during the discussion i thank you vigyan prasad uh, once again for kindly uh, inviting me for this panel thank you so much